I'm going to show you how you can use a one-click CLI to install OpenFast Cloud on Kubernetes. This is the OpenFast Cloud Bootstrap tool. And the way we start this is by putting together an init.yaml file with all of the different parts of configuration we want for a cluster and any secrets we needed, such as um, do we need DNS and TLS. So what we'll do is start by creating a Kubernetes cluster in the dashboard in DigitalOcean. London and Frankfurt are both regions that are close to me. I'm going to pick some modest nodes with two vCPUs and then we will call this uh, something similar to the domain I'm going to use which is myfaz.club. The creation of this cluster will take about four minutes DigitalOcean is saying, and then at that point we'll download this config file, set up the configuration, and we'll run the tool. Well, it looks like my cluster is all up and running now. I've clicked the button to download a config file, and now what I'm gonna do is type in the name of the cluster and we'll see if we've got any nodes yet and so I think we're good to go what I'm going to do is run the, the bootstrap and that's going to point at the init yaml file by default we're now checking that a number of tools have been installed for the process we created some namespaces Tiller is being deployed in the cluster which is part of Helm and then that just checks for when it's downloaded and started. We're updating the Helm charts, we're adding the open fast chart repository and then creating a number of secrets, some from file and some from literal values. Minio has just been deployed and we are installing Cert Manager. We're now creating some secrets that will be used by OpenFAS Cloud and OpenFAS. And we're installing OpenFAS this is using the Helm chart and there are all its deployments. We're now looking to see if Cert Manager is actually ready and this can take a few seconds. This is the newest version 0 0.60 and it's in and now we created all of our TLS certificates. Sealed Secrets Controller is being created from Bitnami. And so these are all components that as a whole make up the OpenFast Cloud control plane. Those configured along with all the secrets we need for GitHub allow us to log in with OAuth, allow us to have a dashboard and connect GitHub repositories so that when we push code, they can automatically be de de deployed in this cluster. Here's OpenFast Cloud itself. Now on the right hand side of the screen, you can actually see a template that we're using to create the production issuer for Let's Encrypt certificates. We've got the staging version here and it looks like that's just finished. So um, 100 seconds on the dot and we have all of this configured and installed in the cluster. Let's see what we've got. So these are all of the functions that make up OpenFast Cloud some of the core services, Minio is in there, the gateway, and then any secrets and pods that were needed. So let's go on to the next part of the video where we will try to push some code and see it deployed. Now, when we deploy from Fast Cloud, one of the things we do is deploy an ingress controller that gets a public IP address. This is part of our domain name. So over in the DigitalOcean dashboard, what we need to do is update all of the A entries and these are described in the readme file so that our domain points at our cluster. We've got a wildcard domain and we have two other domains which are used for um, authentication and login. 
Now these have a 60 second TTL, so we may have to come back in a couple of moments. But the first thing we'll do to test would be to go to the system URL slash dashboard and then the username on GitHub, which in my case is Alex Ellis. Now in the meantime, these DNS entries will have to update. Actually, that works pretty fast. So what we can see is we've got a um, certificate here issued by Let's Encrypt literally just about a minute ago. And if I go over to one of my GitHub repositories, we should be able to push some code. I do have one that I created earlier. And it's one of these ridiculous auto-generated names. But within that, there is a Golang or a Python function. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this file to trigger a git push. Trigger demo and hit commit changes. Now on the commits page, we should see a new status has been created and we'll be able to see that function being built. Here's the commit status, and it's currently queued. Now, depending on the region of your cluster and how fast the compute is and it's, it's piped to the internet, this could take anywhere between five seconds or a minute. And then the next time you do a similar build, BuildKit will have some cached layers inside it, which will be faster. Now, one of the things that you probably didn't notice was that I was actually asked to log in with GitHub and a redirect happened to get me to my dashboard. That is because we have OAuth enabled. So here's our, here's our function. It's called hello, the repository. This is all finished. And yeah, we've got our build logs from BuildKit here. So within the details, we can see the endpoint with its own HTTPS and every username gets its own URL. We've got the GitHub repository. We can even get a nice badge for the repo and we can see the logs from here too. Let's try invoking the function. So this is from when I was showing the demo to my friend Avi. If I go back to the code and do an edit, we'll see this new value appear in a few moments. So we'll go, hi YouTube. And again, we're gonna go through that same process. We did a commit. The commit itself will be tagged with a status. And then in a number of moments, we'll see that this, this status, which is now queued, will change to, well, deployed. It's literally that fast. So less than 10 seconds, we've got a new version of this available with HTTPS on a public internet, with OAuth to log into the dashboard, protecting us from anyone else getting into this, and full HTTPS on our URL. So let's try and run that again. And we've got the new value. Hi, YouTube. So, the invocation count is now going up as those metrics are being scraped. And that was it. We used OpenFast Cloud Bootstrap, available on GitHub, filled out our init.yaml file, and then simply ran the script into a new cluster. And we got production TLS certificates, production endpoints, and highly scalable Git push GitOps experience. Now you can actually give this to your friends and you can make your cluster bigger or smaller as you need to, and um, everything can be controlled through this one page. Thank you.